In addition to this, they are proposing to establish five major projects in the Philippines. Number one, the Arabs are shipping oil to Japan. Their super tankers are about 200, 300,000 tons. They bring oil to Japan, they come back empty to the Middle East. If the Philippine government can set up a pipeline from Lake Lanao to Kulambugan, which is the port of entry, and this is just a, a distance of about 20 kilometers, the tankers coming from Japan will stop by Kulambugan and load fresh water from Lake Lanao, and they will move the fresh water to, the, to Saudi Arabia. In this regard, the Saudis are willing to pay a premium for our fresh water, and this will be an income for the people of the Muslim region. Number two, the Arab world is ready to sign a contract with any Muslim Filipino group to supply the Muslim world with 5,000 goals per month, initial to 10,000 goals after the first year, 15,000 goals after the third year. Number three, the Arab world is also ready to finance palm oil projects in the Philippines so that all of our islands will be able to plant palm oil and this palm oil to be consumed by the Arab world. As you know, palm oil is used for detergents, for uh, soap, and whatever. And then, finally, the Arab League is also ready to set up the most advanced vocational school for our people with a guarantee that they will absorb a minimum of 25,000 Filipino technicians to 100,000 Filipino te technicians for the use in the Middle East for all of the construction projects over the next 20 years. Now this is the project. Hopefully, if I can go there next week and succeed to hammer out this project, I will be able to sell this to Mr. Marcos and that the Philippines will be able to find an end to our insurgency in the South. But let me tell you this. Mr. Marcos apparently does not understand the magnitude of our problems. 